Welcome to the Systems Alliance, my name is Jexy, and in this video we're going to be going ahead and checking out the new trailers for Dark Phoenix by Fox, and it's not just going to be the America's trailer, we're also going to check out the International trailer as well. So Fox released both of these trailers about a week and a half apart, and obviously, sure I'm late to the game and not seeing either of them, but I've heard enough at least about the America's version that was released, and nothing good I've heard about this trailer. Uh, it seems like actors are mailing it in, or rather continuing to mail it in. I don't think I need to say who that is, but it uh, looks like that's still happening. Sounds like the CGI is terrible, sounds like the makeup jobs are even worse. And I just have to say, starting out, you can't go straight to Dark Phoenix without covering the whole Phoenix saga. That's not how it works. You're missing out on everything. It's, this is basically the last movie that Fox is going to do. So I guess it makes sense in that way. Like they're trying to go out with a bang or whatever. And I don't know, people don't even care at this point. I'm not really sure. Obviously, you know, I like Magneto. I like Professor X. I think the actors who play them are great. I think they should come back. Uh, Michael Fassbender, uh, James McAvoy, that they're great. Problem is we're probably gonna lose him. And we're gonna lose him because the Fox merger with Disney, Disney buying out Fox, that's going through. So this is probably the last we're seeing of this cast and so I'm probably expecting a bunch of them to be killed off. I'm expecting it to be some crazy type of movie like, oh, you know, Infinity War, they're killing off people. Let's try and kill off people too. That's what, uh, I mean, they've clearly missed the boat and they're on the downturn. This movie shouldn't even be made at this point because they're missing so much of the story. Why do we care about Dark Phoenix if we don't even know about Phoenix? Like, it, just a mess. We never even got to know these characters a ton either. So that sounds like a lot of negativity and I guess it is. Earned negativity possibly as well, but I still want to check out these trailers. I'm still going to see these movies. You know, it's, it's the X-Men. I mean, come on. At least try, guys, to make it good. So let's go ahead and check out the first trailer for the United States. Why did you make me do that? Look at me. Focus on my voice. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. She was my friend. You're my family, Jean. Stop. No matter what. Stop. Uh. Stop. Stop. Makeup looks so bad. Look. You're special, Jean. And if you stop fighting that force inside you, if you embrace it, he will possess the very power of a god. She'll kill us all. Tell me how we fix this, Charles. Tell me what wow. to do. I don't know what to do. No, they don't understand they fear and what they fear we seek to destroy this is your fault charles i tried maybe quicksilver can do something i'm scared when i lose control bad things happen to people i love the girl dies she's still jean we can still help her sometimes you want to believe people are something that they are not. By the time you realize who they are. Jean! It's too late. She's coming. Uh. 
How's this sound? If you break something, I can fix it. I have a school for young people who are like you, G. We could be your new family. If you like. Go. Girl, where is she? Where is she? I'm sorry. Jeez. Be Better Whatever music, at least. There, made her stronger. Okay, so I changing. actually understand what's going on a little more now. I'm Jeez. Scared. When I lose control, bad things happen to people I love. I'm not giving up on you, Gene. This is what family does. We take care of each other. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Still such a bad makeup job. Good lord. That power destroyed everything it ever came into contact with. Until you. And what they don't understand, they fear. And what they fear, we seek to destroy. Are you a scared little girl who answers to a man in a chair? Or are you the most powerful creature on the planet? She'll kill us all. Jeez! This is your fault, Charles. Tell me how we fix this, Charles. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. The girl dies. She's still Jean. We can still help her. Sometimes we want to believe people are something that they are not. And by the time we realize who they are... It's too late. That's a much better order that they put that in. I don't know why they did that before. She's coming. X-Men Dark Phoenix in cinemas June 6. Well, after seeing those two trailers, just from an editing perspective, in case you wanted to know why, why is editing important? That right there is why editing is important. The second one was edited in such a better order and sequence. Like, it flowed. It looked like a movie that maybe you might actually want to see that. The first one was just terrible. And it makes me wonder, how does that get through? How does it get through the movie studio with a bunch of people signing off that says, yeah, this is the movie, this is the trailer that we want to put out there for everyone to see. Just so bad. Now, that being said, the international trailer much better. Just just in terms of the flow, the sa it has the same flaws. E even the end, like the end scene, every the train's getting torn up. What is the point of a bunch of guys with guns pointing it at a door like something bad is gonna come through it, which is the most cliche thing in movies, when the character is clearly powerful enough to just pick up the train and rip it to shreds anyway? Like, What's the point? What is even the point of that scene? It, to me, it just seems like just a waste, really. Uh, they're, they're not sure what to do with this character. Like, okay, she's really powerful. She's gonna be bad. Why is she gonna be bad? Uh, what about the whole saga we're missing? Well, we didn't get that movie. I guess instead we got Apocalypse, which when you think about it, in terms of how these movies are coming along, Apocalypse really, really unnecessary. Just a completely unnecessary movie. So, obviously, they're not ending on a strong note with Dark Phoenix. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I have this YouTube channel and talk about comic book movies. So, I'm going to go see this movie. But, man, it doesn't seem like a good movie, does it? And regardless of how you cut it, someone tell me what is going on with Raven. What's going on with Mystique? I, I guess Jennifer Lawrence is too big of a star, even though, like, I don't know. My parents couldn't tell you who they are, but... Is she so big of a star that she can't put on real makeup for her character, Mystique? I mean, look at Mystique in the original X-Men movies. Take a look at her. That's crazy makeup. I get it. You're in the chair forever. Guess what? You're paid for that. That is your job. And you're not doing it for the rest of your life. You're doing it for a movie. Why is she looking like this now? Why is she looking like this watered down... 
I've seen cosplay that looks much better than her makeup in this movie because at least the cosplayers care. Jennifer Lawrence isn't even trying to care anymore. I mean, not to mention her acting's been awful in the past few movies. Look, if you don't want to be in a movie, don't be in a movie. But if you're in a movie, at least perform, at least act like you want to be there, at least act. I, I just don't understand why she's even in these anymore. They should have replaced her two movies ago, just saved on the budget and maybe put it into the writers. I don't know if that would have saved it. But still, like, this is really poor, and at least I was right. I mean, everyone's, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of people are going to die. They're trying to make it like an Avengers Infinity War, like, oh my god, the world's at stake. We're all gonna die, all this stuff. The problem is we already saw it in Avengers Infinity War, and it was done way better. So th they already came off of Apocalypse, who was supposed to kill everyone, and now Dark Phoenix is supposed to kill everyone. Like, it's getting a little old, and yeah, it it stinks that the X-Men, who I think other than Spider-Man is the best thing Marvel has going for them, it stinks that they're relegated to this. Now, that being said, Disney's buying them, so maybe we'll get to see new ones. Unfortunately, like I said, there's great characters in this one played by great actors, uh, Magneto, Professor X, and Quicksilver. I like this Quicksilver a lot more than the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Quicksilver. Of course, he's dead, but still, it would suck losing them, but then again, which movies are really going to stand the test of time? The ones in the MCU or the one in this most recent... I don't know, the, the timeline's all screwed up too, so it's just kind of a mess over there with Fox, but... Anyway, that's just my take. Let me know your thoughts on it. Are you still excited about it? There were still some cool stuff. I am still looking forward to seeing how do they stop her? Is it gonna be a crazy movie where she wins and like everyone's dead? That would sure be a twist. I'd be surprised, but who knows, maybe not. Uh, the first trailer definitely made her seem kind of whiny. This trailer made, I don't know, just the international trailer was just a lot better. So let me know your thoughts about each of these trailers and your overall thoughts on the movie down in the comment section below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit me up on Twitter and We'll catch you next time.